Hi, I'm Kruno. Thanks for watching ePlan Essentials. If you design or build industrial control panels, you may know how time consuming the wiring process is. Not just the installation, but also the confection of the wires. What is the right wire end termination for your wires? Is it ferrules, ultrasonic welding, ring terminals, or simply cutting the wires? In today's video, I'm gonna show you in two easy steps how to do the wire end termination in ePlan Pro Panel. Alright, as we know in ePlan Pro Panel, there is a routing functionality. So if we select one of those components and press here, route, we will receive the shortest possible routing length between source and target. And if we click on one of those wires, we will have the, all the wiring information necessary displayed, like color, cross section, the length, routing direction, potential, type designations, bundle, as well as the wire termination information for source and target. During today's week, I received a question from a customer where to define this wire and termination information. As explained in the intro, there are two easy steps which you have to define in ePlan Pro Panel to get this information. The first step is the connection category. The connection category we can define in the connection point pattern of the device. So I'm just going to jump into the connection point pattern. In the connection point pattern, as you know, you can define the connection point designation, which identifies the wire terminal. You can identify the position of the wire termination. And right next to it, you can define the routing directions and the way how the wire leaves the uh, wire termination. And almost right next to it, you can find the connection category. ePlan supplies you with a list of predefined connection categories for your wire terminal. If this list is not sufficient for you, you can in the settings add your own connection category. For this device, we have defined screw clamp connection single. So that's the first step. And I will always recommend you when you create connection point patterns to define the connection category. The second step we can find in the settings. If we click now to file settings under the project settings, routing connections, general, we'll find wire termination processing. Here is where we link the previously defined connection category with the wire termination processing information we are expecting to do in this project. So as you see, the screw clamp connection single is end sleeve. In this project, a cage clamp connection will receive the wire termination processing information stripping and so on. All properties which are empty here will not receive any wire end termination. There is a possibility to enter a wire termination processing default. If you enter here a value, this value will be populated for all the properties which are here empty. So let's take another revision look here. If we, for instance, see here on this wires, we have end sleeve and end sleeve. And if we take on this wire here, we see one end is stripping and the other end is end sleeve. So where does this stripping information come from? If we follow the wire until the end, we will see in this connection point pattern that the wire termination is cage clamp. So if I go now back to the settings, I will see the cage clamp information is stripping. So one end was cage clamp connection, so stripping, and the other end was screw clamp connection uh, single, which was end sleeve. These were the two easy steps how to define wire end terminations in ePlan Pro Panel. 
after you have done this, you can export a point-to-point -point connection list via Excel or send it directly to wire end termination processing like the Rital WT. This wraps up today's ePlan Essentials video. Have you already known about the wire end termination processing in ePlan Pro Panel? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you find the video beneficial, please make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel and share it in your community. Until the next time, Uncle Kruno signed out.